Hey guys, it's Nina Soul, Spiritual Vibes, doing another vlog video with hubby, Gilo Armani. Gilo Armani, hello. <laughs> um, so I guess this video is just gonna be a little bit of like chit chat, bullshit kind of thing. Um, we're just, uh, we're gonna be headed to the herbal store right now to pick up a couple things and then we're gonna go and get something to eat. Hubby's taking me to Olive Garden. So we're gonna go do that and it is raining outside so it is gorgeously ugly outside the reason why i say gorgeously ugly is because it's not really the type of weather you want to be in but at the same time it's kind of like mother nature's way of cleansing herself if you get what i mean so um yeah that's what it's like out here right now so if you guys hear all that that's rain hitting us and so I guess what we'll do is, I know that there was a couple witches on YouTube that had said that they were going to do um, videos with their husbands, kind of like, um, kind of just like answering questions what it's like from their point of view being a husband of a witch. So, babe, yeah. you want to answer some questions? <laughs> Answer some questions. Yeah. Questions? I, the questions I'm just gonna make up. But if you guys, if like the viewers, if you guys have any questions that you guys would like to ask, um, you know, like would like to ask or hear a husband's point of view of what it's like to be married to a witch, uh, go ahead and like leave comments below, and then maybe we'll do another video later on or something if we, you know, get like a list of questions. We'll do another video later and we'll, I'll have him answer the questions like, you know, if you guys have any more that if we don't answer them in this video, then we'll do another video. And he's open to answering anything like my man is shy. He's not shy. He, he'll answer anything. So there's no question that's too, too weird or too personal. He'll answer it. So I guess um, we'll start out with. Does it creep you out? <laughs> does it <laughs> does it creep you out being married to a witch? I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> no, it doesn't creep me out to be married to a witch. I'm not creeped out. Um, I'm actually proud of my wife. Mostly proud. I'm not just saying this because I'm on camera, you know. He's not. He's 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 really. You can tell. He's like. He's usually involved in like. You know, in certain things that I do, he's he's always been like, he's always had my back. But go ahead, babe. Sorry. Oh no, no, no. no go ahead. I answered already. <laughs> That's it. That's such yeah, a short but, answer. Well, and that doesn't creep me out. That's what you asked me. What's the creepiest thing that I do? There has to be a creepy thing that I do. Maybe when like you first, you know, we're bringing it around. When I saw you moving the sage around, that kind of creeped me out at first. So the taxidermy didn't creep you out more than the sage, or was the um, sage? <laughs> I think, you know what? Uh, no, because taxidermy, I've you know, I've even been curious about it, you know, to see see other you know animals and things like that. But um, it's a sage thing, really, that kind of spooked me a little bit. You know, like like seeing you wave the smoke around and even the smell of it at first. And then probably when I was cleansing you. Yeah, it was, it was like, probably like, what the fuck are you doing to me? <laughs> but I, you, you already knew that I grew into into sage because, you know, after a while I started to figure out that sage was just cleansing me, you know, and I wasn't aware of it. And maybe I didn't, you know, feel comfortable at the time being cleansed because I just didn't know about it. You know, once, once it started cleansing me, then I felt felt relieved and then I started to walk in the smell and you know, get used to you doing it all the time so yeah so it was the, mostly the sage then um what about let's see what about like divination like tarot decks things like that did any of that like creep you out no, no. I was curious I was curious to get a reading from you you know? Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't get creeped out at all. Um, what... I guess what is, like, what have you learned? Like, what are 
saved okay if you just had to name one thing that you learned from like i know hopefully you guys can hear us okay because it's like it's coming down it's like raining rain. it's raining cats and dogs outside <laughs> um so hopefully you guys can hear we'll talk a little bit louder we'll talk louder right babe yeah sure <laughs> sure no problem <laughs> um what have you learned being married to a witch like what is something that you feel that you learned that had you had you have been married to another woman that wasn't a witch mm -hmm. what do you feel that you learned being married to a witch i feel that i learned a lot about crystals and the purpose you know of, of crystals and meanings um, before I used to look at crystals like, oh, it's a nice little rock, you know, <laughs> it's a nice little pebble. It's a little pebble. It's a but, rock. It doesn't yeah, have a name. Exactly. It's just called a rock. And it's a shiny looking little, little rock, you know, but, you know, as, as time went on, you know, and you started showing me more the crystals and what they were for, and I started to understand them more and to actually kind of keep keep them you know because i knew that they were precious and that they meant something and it wasn't just a stone you know they were like little beings exactly little people exactly and even i uh still have to look for my opalite oh he has gone, he has but... a favorite crystal you guys so this is how much my husband is involved in my craft and in my practice he he actually has his things that he likes like he has a crystal that he loves the energy so much that he refuses to move on <laughs> i tried showing him other like like we got um what crystal did we just get in we just got in some smoky quartz and i was like oh i was like he, you know there's a chance that he might like this one i showed it to him he held it for a little bit and it was like he just had this face like it wasn't the same like it's not the same so he knows energies too, just like, just like how I feel energies, he feels energies from crystals and things like that too. So, um, oh God, were you going to say something? Baby? Oh, okay. So I, like, I feel like how I talked to you guys early about, um, manifesting and things like that. The reason why I spoke about that, about manifesting is because there are certain things that I'm trying to manifest within myself um to move further along in my path and i feel that when since i'm trying to manifest these things like how i had told you guys earlier that they touch the people around you before they get to you he's like the person that's being touched by what it is i'm trying to manifest is like touching him because his his senses have like heightened like he he feels uh, more energies and things like that. Like he actually has um, where he'll he'll know something's going to happen. He'll say it's going to happen. He'll call it out and he'll say, oh, this is going to happen. And it happens. So like little things like that. And we've even like we've even kind of accidentally done magic together in a way because there was. It's usually when people are like walking around rude as fuck, right, babe? Like, yeah. remember at Starbucks? At Starbucks, when we went to the movies one night and we wanted to get some Starbucks. And I was telling my goddess sister about this earlier. So she's probably, she might be watching this like, oh, yeah, she told me about that. <clears throat> so um, we had went to the movies and we had gotten some Starbucks. And the lady that was working there, she was being, she was being an asshole. She was being rude. And like... I think that me and him were probably thinking the same thing at the same time. Like, you know, like, oh, like this lady needs to something needs to shut this lady up, you know, because she was just the way she was acting like she was acting like we were such an inconvenience on her life when she's there getting paid to do what she's doing. And um, so I think that us thinking that at the same time, well, stuff started falling down, this, you know, stuff started falling down. She spilled coffee and and everything and me and Gilo like we looked at each other and we smiled because it was kind of like we didn't even have to say anything we just like it, it just happened and we just knew it was because of the way we were thinking at that moment and that we were thinking it together so our minds actually made that happen and 
then a recent story too we had went to the mall and there was this like lady that she was just complaining about just nothing really she was just you know talking shit but very loud and very rude and um again we had gotten the same thought at that same time like like this lady needs to just be quiet you know like she's just over here raising hell about nothing and she just needs to be quiet you know and then at that moment this little boy like this little kid is running backwards in the mall like running backwards and he banged into her and you could just tell that this like this lady was already so irritated and then this little kid bangs into her but it was just so funny because that happened it was like it was almost like the universe said like like bitch shut up and threw a little kid at her yeah. <laughs> and then so then me me and my husband we start laughing because we we're thinking we we're thinking like she just needs to you know she needs to stop already and that happened so we kind of work magic together and it's it's cool because i don't think that i would ever be able to have what me and him have with anybody else like nobody else not even as a friend I know. <laughs> Real. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think what other questions I could ask you. Like, is there anything that you think? I'm trying to think. Well, me as a guy, I think that I'm just kind of wanting to be honest with all you other guys that are out there that are married to witches or um, just don't be afraid, man. I mean... Get in there and, and, and be open for the most part. Be open because that's really what that's really what's going to calm you down, really. You know, if you're just going to keep thinking about, oh, you know, she does brujeria and she does this and she and does judging, that. And judging. Like, it's, not, it's, not, it's not true, man. It's not true. Just just keep an open mind and listen to things that, that you know, your wife has to say or what, what other people have to say, you know, because... A lot of it's a lot of it's positive, you know, and a lot of it has to do with energies. And once you're more understanding, then your your vibe and your energy will change. And you'll start to feel relaxed hearing things like that, you know, um, information that you might even want to know. I'm just being honest. Yep. And I think a lot of a lot of my magics too. Like, I think the reason why he's he's very supportive is because he knows that. My magics are out of love and like love and light and protection and things like that. These are the things that I do. And so like, I mean, I guess I guess for for each witch is different because I know that there's some that are more into the darker aspects. And, you know, I don't know how their husbands, um, if their husbands are supportive of it or not. But I feel that if if it's like if it's your calling, I feel that. You know, the person that you're with, the more supportive that they are for you um, and whatever it is that you're doing or whatever it is that you practice, I feel that that's only going to move you further along. And it's going to it's just it's your support. It's your support system. Like everybody needs that support in their life, because if you're doing it on your own, I mean, you'll get there, but it just takes a whole lot longer. And. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think like there has to be like let's do one more question and then we'll let we'll we'll let this ride and then see what happens see if we get any any questions out there okay uh, oh okay all right we're gonna be a little bit funny about this one because I seen I seen like bedroom magic kind of videos out there <laughs> what do you think of bedroom magic babe bedroom magic bedroom magic Find bedroom magic, magic. Bedroom magic like bedroom magic like do you feel that there's because i know that you feel it like i mean obviously you've been intimate with other women i know that you have to feel the difference because i feel that when me and you like the connection with me and you is way past just the physical. It's like when we're when we're doing what we do, it's like it it's like satisfying on every level. Like not just the physical level, but I just feel like that spiritual connection, I feel the energetic connection. 
I just feel all these things. And to me, I call it I I call it bedroom magic because that's I don't feel like we're like doing it or like, you know, whatever. I feel like it's just magic. Like it's Yeah, it's not just it's not just like okay, we're doing it. Yeah. It's, not, it's more like uh like we're one, you know, at that moment and yeah, like everything everything is is up like everything is high you know what i mean i'm not like that i like that don't be like that yeah. too <laughs> no, I'm well, I'm just saying. but like it's like a, a spiritual high that i'm in you know that's how it is it's not just oh, okay we did what we did and it's over no do you ever get worried that i'm doing like because i know that there's questions out there i know that there's some people that might ask it and there's some people that don't want to go there but do you do you have you ever had it in your mind or had you ever had the thought that maybe I'm so in love with her because she has me under a spell? Like, have you ever had that? No. And you already know like how I am with that. I already told because yeah. one of the things that I will not I will not do is like love magic to make somebody love you because that I just I don't feel that that would be love like it's not something that that person is doing because they really do love you and the feelings are really deep and they're really from within that person so I never do that so that's why I feel okay with asking him that because we've gone there with it like we've talked about this mm -hmm. um and I just wanted because there I'm sure that there's people out there that question whether or not a witch's a witch's husband is married to a witch because that witch put him under a spell to make him love her. And I'm just wondering from you being married to me, if you had ever thought that maybe this is, these are not your own feelings and maybe it's something that I do to you. No, I don't feel like that. I think that, um, from, you know, watching you do what you do, you know, and, and, uh, your intentions are good and I have no, no feeling of, of or even thinking about you having me under a spell to be in love. I think we were in love before it even, you know, mm -hmm. before this all even came out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's where we're at. With that one. And, um, like, with, with our relationship, like, the thing is that at first, when me and him first got together, because, like, I've been doing this since I was, like, 14. So this has been like something that I've been doing. And I mean, like certain people know, but the thing was that when I first got into a relationship with my husband, which he was my boyfriend at the time, I, didn't, I wasn't just like out about it and just, you know, told him because I wasn't sure where our relationship was going to take us. But once I knew that me and him were going to be like together forever, and this was after... No, this was before we got married or after we got married that I told you. Um, I think it was before, right? Yeah. Before. See, so he had the option to not marry me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, we're here and mm -hmm. um, this will be our first video. And like I said, if you guys have any questions for my husband, first video, first, first, video, video, you know, first you know. one. So if you guys have any questions for my husband on you know, being married to a witch. Like I said, you know, leave the comments below. Um, any questions, whatever it is, don't feel embarrassed or don't feel like you're going to offend us in some way because we've already been through it and we're um, up to answer anything. So go ahead and leave your comments and your questions. And um, oh, also about my husband, he's a reggaeton artist, local artist from chicago and um you know we're gonna be getting him set up with a channel and everything so that we can share his music with everybody so uh stay tuned for that because once we get that together we'll definitely be sharing that on here yep if you want a little sample you can go on instagram and uh look me up i'm under gido armani i'll put the link Check below so you guys can you guys can find him um on instagram and he's got, like, um, you know, some of his, like, beats and some, like, clips of his music and stuff like that on there. Um, so I'll definitely, definitely leave his information down below. So um, 
yeah, this is our first video. And like I said, you know, leave your questions and um, follow him on Instagram because he's got good shit. And I'm not just talking about his music. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yep. All right, you guys. So blessed be. Bye. Bye. Blessed be.